New covering Colorado first at five. For the first time in over a century, Colorado lawmakers could vote this week to expel one of their own. And now we're hearing from that target lawmaker, Representative Steve Lebsock. The Democrat, who is accused of sexual misconduct, is also running for state treasurer this year. Yeah, this afternoon, some state lawmakers introduced a resolution to get him out. Sean Boyd live at the Capitol for us tonight. And Sean, we haven't seen anything like this at the Capitol in our lifetime. Hey, Karen, the historic vote is set for Friday here in the House chamber. But as of tonight, lawmakers have not yet seen the evidence against Lebsock. An outside investigator issued a report, but only two people, the Republican and Democratic leaders in the House, have seen it, and they can't discuss it. Tomorrow, a redacted copy will be available behind closed doors for lawmakers only to view. This is such a highly charged issue, extra security was brought in here to the chamber today. Due to the seriousness of the findings, I'm recommending that this body consider, through a resolution for expulsion, that Representative Lebsack be expelled from this body. Democratic Majority Leader Casey Becker introduced the resolution to oust one of her own, saying an outside investigator found 11 allegations of sexual misconduct by Representative Steve Lebsack we're credible. But we, as a General Assembly, have the responsibility to police our own, to hold our own members to a high level of accountability. I will not be expelled. The members of this body will see what's going on, and I will not be expelled. Labsock says the allegations are lies and even went so far as to take a lie detector. I'm not guilty. I've done nothing wrong. I have never sexually harassed anyone. His most vocal accuser, fellow Democratic representative Faith Winter. Now Colorado knows the truth. It is important to stand up to bullies, and I will not be silenced. But Representative Patrick Neville, the Republican leader in the House and the only one outside of Becker to see the report, says some of the allegations, while maybe true, aren't harassment. After seeing that report, I've got way more questions than I had before. They're giving very strong opinions in the write-up. I would like to know how they formulated those opinions. And you know, Neville also wants that report to be made public, but Becker says at this point the law prohibits them from releasing it. Again, the vote is scheduled for Friday here in the House chamber. It takes two-thirds of lawmakers to expel Lebsack. Live at the Capitol, Sean Boyd covering Colorado First. Sean, thank you.